What's going on team? This is Lock and Profit and today I want to go over my Zen portfolio. So I'm going to be doing this probably on a weekly basis um, just to show what's going on in the Zen sphere and also might be doing it maybe twice a week just depending on what the news is. As of right now it's at five zeros one six six. Like I said in earlier videos it's going down. I plan for it to go down more, I'm thinking it's going to go down to around nine to 10 zeros before we actually see a bottom. So we will see, but um, let's look at the market cap. We just go to the 90 day because it is three months old. The actual market cap is trending up with a few spikes right there and right there, but it's just trending up slowly but surely, which is pretty impressive. So can't complain. And actually you can see on the 16th, of this month, I actually have five Zen mints to actually claim. These are the original mints from day one, which is 100 days because that was the max term when they first started out. Now it's around, I think, 430 days now is the max term. A lot of people minted on day one, so there's going to be a lot of Zen in the supply coming up pretty soon. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Actually, if you look up here, the Zen Wealth Ranking, I'm at just a little bit over 2,000. But I don't think this number accounts for my Zen FTs as well because it's showing 63 addresses, which is what I have going on in Coin Tools with an estimated Zen of 1.4 billion, which is nice, and a total value of today, which is 2,500. If you look at the chart right here, it just shows you I have my four coming up soon, and then every 30 days I have one Zen to mint. And then I kind of turned up when I was actually doing one pretty much every day. And then now, since the NFTs are out, I'm doing one on a weekly basis. So, but let's go to the profile, which is new, which is pretty awesome. Now it shows my Zen wealth ranking 1400, the Zen amount of 2.9 billion, which is pretty cool because this actually adds the Zen FTs, including the uh, Zen mints that I have. It shows that I have uh, five collectors, uh, total assets 5,100. Total investment, just a little over a thousand. Total earning, forty-one hundred, with an earning rate of four twelve, which is pretty cool to see. Let's actually get to the bread and butter. So you have the Zen asset distribution. It shows my future Zen, one point four billion. Future value, twenty five hundred. Minting costs, less than just a little over five hundred dollars. Mint earnings, nineteen hundred. And actually, the spot Zen is actually Zen that you have liquid sitting in your wallet. So, like I said, I have. 139 million Zen just sitting in my wallet of a total value of $244.64. I am currently not staking any Zen at the moment, but that could change um, soon. I'm in the process of trying to get a limited Zen and a Apex Zen. That's my goals right now. So as of right now with the Zen FTs, I hold five Zen FTs, estimated Zen of 1.3, NFT value 2,400, and holding earnings 2,500, which is nice. So if we go to the stats and see what the Zen dashboard is, the global rank is 1.6 million, which is just crazy. Active mentors, 4.6 million. Active stakers, around 7,000. That's a lot more than I expected. Like I said, Zen is just a baby, man. It's only three months old. Um, the total supply is at three, three point nine trillion. Um, liquid supply three point six trillion. Um, the total total stake is two hundred and forty six billion, which is pretty cool. Uh, max terms. The max term now is one forty three. I thought it was one. I thought it was actually four thirty. So. And then the actual APY for the staking is, is actually went down. Every 90 days, this is going to go down. And I think when you stake Zen, it actually burns it, which is another burn mechanism up on addition to the actual Zen FTs. So let's look at my Zen FTs right now. I have five. Like I said, um, I have the rubies. But two weeks ago, I minted uh, one for 25 VMUs. And I remember last time, if you go back to my video, it was at 580, uh, 580 million Zen. Now look at it. It's 627 million Zen. That's a big jump. But the crazy thing is, is that last week I minted one for 30 VMUs and it surpassed the one I have 
for 25 VMUs. So my goal next one is to do another 35 and keep going up and up and up. I can keep getting more zen because you have to think about it. The long, the more you wait to mint, the less zen you have. So you have to actually compensate one more VMU so you can actually catch up to the last one that you did. Last but not least, let's go to um, Uniswap and do some show you some liquidity providing that I'm doing because like I said in my previous video I'm going to be scooping up Zen I'm not selling it I'm scooping it up so if you're selling it I'm buying it and this is the best way to DCA in let's look at both of them both of them are in range I actually provide it around four, 1400 and some change and um, actually right now I've made 35 million Zen at this point and I've collected 3.4 million Zen on fees and five dollars and four five dollars and four cents in USD I can collect this at any time this number right here is going to fluctuate so as Zen goes up I will the USDC will go up and the Zen will go down and as Zen goes down, this number will go up and this number will go down. So once this number right here gets to 40, actually 25, I'm going to normally when you remove liquidity, you can actually take out 25%. So you just kind of like a take profit. So that's what I'll be doing. And if we look at my next one, this is the one where I um, showed previously in the video. It was around 800 USDC I used, and now it's down to 659 uh, DC, and I'm almost at 1 million Zen, which I'm scooping up. Like I said, I'm scooping up, and I made in fees, I made 8.3 in fees and uh, $15 in 41 cents in USD and this has only been a week right so I think I'm gonna wait until this USD gets to around $50 and then I'm gonna I'm gonna collect it but normally I need to collect it when the glaze down so I don't have to pay a lot on gas fees because you can pay a lot on gas fees when it comes to liquidity fighting so you just have to be aware of that if you want me to go more in detail on liquidity fighting um, let me know down in, down in the comments and I'll be glad to like give you a, a video on how to single side stake. So there you have it. If you have any questions about anything mentioned in this video, uh, feel free to comment below. I want to do more videos like this. Um, if you like the video, please, by all means, give it a like. By all means, thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss, miss a new video. Um, like I said, it's like in profit. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.